number two. Live odds, bet online. There's only three games Thursday in the preseason. Here's one of them on NFL Network, the ESPN rather. This is the Buccaneers and the Jaguars. Pick them, 40 and a half the total. Different approach for Jacksonville. Had practice versus the Patriots last week before playing them. Now joint practices Monday and Tuesday against the Bucs. Three years of Blake Bortles, the last three years a horror show. As many wins as pick sixes, if you can believe it. 11 and 34 is the record. The passer rating is 79.6. I can't believe he's still the quarterback. He's had some horrible practices already when he had the five interception practice. Afterwards, Doug Marone said, if I got my way in a dream situation, I'd run the ball every play. Not exactly a ringing endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and look, it's clearly make or break time for Blake Bortles. Now, year four in the NFL, and early reports are not good. You know, in that 11-on-11, 11 11, we talked about the joint practice with New England last week. Well, he had 11-on-11 11 11 practice session. He, had, he was 5-for-17 with an interception right there. Uh, in the game against the Patriots, remember, I mean, a bunch of <laughs> offense for the Jaguars, but they scored four touchdowns in that contest. None of them had anything to do <laughs> with Blake Bortles. Bortles was 3-of-5 for 16 yards in the game uh, before getting pulled in that contest. And, of course, afterwards, and Bortles has also been struggling in practice this week, uh, the quote, you know, from Bortles talking about how it's the first year in this offense. Remember, uh, they ran uh, with the, the, the Hackett as the offense coordinator. At the end of last year, they were still running former coordinator's Greg Olson scheme for the final seven weeks of the season. Uh, here's a quote. From Bortles, quote, I think it's still our first camp in the system with Coach Nate Hackett. And I think the guys have done a good job. Definitely still a lot to improve on. We've shown day in and day out how good we can be. And then we've shown day in and day out how stupid some of the stuff we do is. So uh, the Jags don't have that level of consistency in this new offense that perhaps they would like so far. And of course, against New England, let's not forget, you know, I mean, it was all big plays, mostly big plays. Every bit as lucky as they were good in those contests. They scored a touchdown and a 97-yard pass, a 79-yard run, and a 42-yard pass. You don't count on those type of plays on a week-in, week-out basis from the Jacksonville Jaguars. No Fournette, no Leaf in this one. They're injured and won't play, according to reports. Winston, he should have a big year, but he makes horrible decisions off the field the last few years ago back to Florida State. Why would he make bad decisions on the field? You've seen the hard knocks first couple episodes, too, when he's throwing terrible picks. You get a deep threat in Deshaun Jackson. Should open things up for Mike Evans. you got Brate and O.J. Howard, who they took in the draft. Griffin, the third-string quarterback, is out with an injury. So you're looking at Lufau, the Colorado kid who was undrafted, who could get a lot of time. I don't know how much they'll play Winston and Fitzpatrick. I don't know what they're gonna, how much they'll play, but expect a lot of Lufau in the second half as well. Dirk Cutter, uh, the Bucks' uh, the new, new uh, coach from last year, rather, seems to like using the preseason to give their starters a lot of time to get acquainted with one another. They gave the spring offense nearly a third of the playing time in week one. Cutter said yesterday that those starters will only get a full half in week two. Quote, will play more. The ones will be closer to a full half. We went a little bit longer with the offense last game. The defense didn't play much. We'll take those guys deeper into the game. I'd like Winston. Uh, if we have the ball to get into a two-minute situation in the second quarter, if we could, and quote there, so I'll correct what I said earlier, uh, there's good information about how long they will play on the ESPN game. What do you think? Well, that's the whole key here, okay? The key to the handicap for this ball game is that the Bucks' number three quarterback, this is so, I love preseason because the keys to the handicap, oh, the number three quarterback's hurt. But yeah, Ryan Griffin is hurt for the Bucks Now, Lou Fowl, let's be honest, he's a non-prospect. He's a never, never was, never will be type of guy. And he got extended playing time last week. Whatever they wanted to see from him on film, they have on film. We're talking uh, a situation where Tampa, they haven't said it, Cutter hasn't said it, but Jameis Winston, the starter, is likely to play the first half or most of the first half here. And Ryan Fitzpatrick, who did not look good in his uh, Bucks debut, <laughs> to the surprise of no one, last week he's expected to get ample playing time once Winston gets out so it may not be a whole lot of Sefu Lufau uh, for Colorado we could see a pretty decent QB rotation for Tampa Bay despite the fact that the third stringer Ryan Griffin may be out for a while hey guys for the full video go to sbrpicks.com 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.